that this is the reality allahu akbar kabira science says that everything came in existence by evolution this is survival of the fittest and but allah swt says that no we created the universe with one man it is not like that that in the ocean there was life and then there were fishes and there was this and this and this and there was chimpanzee and hundred and thousand of chimpanzees then they transformed they were transformed into human being it's not like that genetic engineering confirms that the life came into existence by one person allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in quran ya ayuhan nas taqu rabbakum allazi khalaqakum min nafsin wahida that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you from one human being and this was adam al islam wa khalaqa minha zawjaha and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created his wife from him wa khalaqa minha zawjaha wa bassa minhuma rijalan kaseeran wa nisa and then through adam al islam and mahawa allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created lot of human beings and you can see millions and billions of human beings in the world so the life started with one and from adam al islam amma hawa was created and then from hawa and adam al islam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the human being and we can see that this earth is filled with the human beings now this has been mentioned in quran 1500 years ago if we just think about it that who was the one in the beginning so our mind says it must be hawa because the mother should be first then there can be children but quran says no it was father first and no genetic engineer confirms that the chromosome of the woman are xx but the chromosome of the men they are xy so there was first life which had homochrome xy from xy xx could be possible but if there was only woman in the beginning xx so through xx xy could never have been there so it was impossible so quran tell something which is confirmed by the science even now it is that it was adam al islam a male in the beginning and from the male the female was made and from male and female allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the human being and they are now having their life on the face of this earth so this is a sign of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which has been mentioned in quran at a time when there was no science at all then let us consider some other example for example allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in quran fa kalakna nutfata alaqatan fa khalaqna al alaqata mudghatan fa khalaqna al mudghata izama fa kasawna al izama lahma thumma ansha'nahu khalqan akhar fa tabarak allah wa ahsan al khaliqi that when a baby is created it is in the beginning a drop of water drop of water which is ejaculated from the 
husband's body towards wife. So it is drop of water. Forty days it is water. Then second point, this drop of water changes into a drop of blood for forty days. And after forty days, this drop of blood is transformed to a flesh. And from the flesh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then makes bones in it. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala covers these bones, the structure of the body with the flesh. Summa ansha'nahu khalqan akhar. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them a proportion the premature babies which are born the doctors know that their heart their head is a big size and their hands are very small their legs are very small but <coughs> Allah SWT says that when I want to give them birth then I increase different organs of the body in different proportions. So the hands, they grow and come to the certain length. Legs, they grow and come to the certain length. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then gives them a good proportion. فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ وَأَسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ So, he has a lot of barakat who created the human beings. In Quran, it has been mentioned that when Maryam alayhi salatu salam, he was pregnant and she wanted to give birth to her baby. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him that there is a date palm just try to move it and dates will come to you. They will come down on the ground. So eat the dates and drink water and see your son. So everything will be fine. Now 1500 years ago if a woman is going to give birth to the baby, then mind says, tell her to have some cream. So it will be easy for the baby to come out of the body. But Quran says, no, you have to eat the date. Why? No science confirms that the woman who is in, his, in her labor pain, in that condition, she has such severe pains. Fats. The food of the mind is only carbohydrates. And the date is 100% carbohydrates. So if a woman will eat carbohydrates at that time, it means the food will go directly towards the mind and mind will come out of depression and it will be easy for the mother to give birth to the baby. So this is mentioned in Quran 1500 years ago. No one knew that what is the food of the brain at that time. But Quran tells exactly what is 100% right because this Quran is a book of realities it is a book of the ultimate realities of the universe. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned all the truths of the universe in Quran. We can see some more signs in our inner self. For example, our brain is a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.
brain is 73% water and 16% fat. And there are neurons in the mind. Nowadays we are talking about memories. 8 GB, 15 GB, and we feel, oh, 15 GB is a lot of memory. And you know how much memory is in the brain? 2500,000 GB. 2500,000 GB is the capacity of the brain. Allahu Akbar Kabira. And the brain of the human being is so fast that in one second it can make a transaction which if we want to make in the world then the supercomputer the supercomputer which is with, Germ with Japan these days is the most fast supercomputer in the world. So you need <coughs> 80,000 supercomputers <laughs> you need 80,000 supercomputers and they will take 40 minutes to make a transaction which is done by the human brain in only one second. Brain does this transaction only in one second, one second time. And the same transaction can be done by 80,000 supercomputers and these 80,000 supercomputers will take 40 minutes to make the transaction complete. So this fastness of the mind and the memory of the mind is a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the eye of the human body, another sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is only one inch diameter organ and it has a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know how many times we move our eyes in a day? No one knows. But the book of science tells us that a person can move his ball of the eye in one day and it goes up to 100,000 times. Ek lakh mertaba insaan ek din mein apni aankh ko harkat deta hai. Yahan dekha, phir yahan dekha, phir idhar dekha, phir upar dekha, phir niche dekha. Total jo harkat hoti hai aankh mein, wo ek din mein ek lakh mertaba harkat hoti hai. Itna chota sa ball hai, aur Allah ne isko kaisa banaya, کہ یہ ایک دن میں ایک لاکھ مرتبہ موو کرتا ہے اور ایک لاکھ مرتبہ موو کرنے پر اس کے اندر کوئی تھکاوٹ نہیں ہوتی کوئی اس کو موو کرنے والے جو سپرنگ ہیں وہ خراب نہیں ہوتے and we don't feel any tiredness کہ یہ آنکھیں بہت موو کر لی ہیں اب تو بس آنکھیں ایک ہی جگہ رکھو ختم نہیں یہ this eye is a sign of Allah سبحانہ وتعالی Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made an eye, subhanallah. And you know that human eye can make difference in color up to 10 millions of shades. Yani if there were 10 millions of shades, the human eye is capable of making difference in them. Yes, this is a different color, this is a different color. In 10 millions of shades, human eye can differentiate. There is no machine in the world which can differentiate in shades of color like that. So the precision of the eye is so much. Thank you.
whatever whatever camera has been designed in the world it has precision up to 50 megapixel the maximum precise camera which has been designed in the world has got 12 megapixel precision and the eye of the human being has 576 megapixel so it means that no camera in the world can be so precise what precision allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to the eye so this eye is a sign of the existence of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that oh allah you created such a beautiful eye for the man that it is so precise so for security purpose in the beginning people used to have the thumb prints because in thumb prints there are 40 characters which differentiate a one person from the other person there are 40 characters which you can use to differentiate from one person to the other person but in i there are 215 256 different characters which can differentiate from one person to the other person so that's why in these days for security purpose i is used more than the thumb prints subhanallah a small organ of the body is i and it has lot of signs of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then the heart of the body is another sign of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is basically a pump of blood it receives blood from the body and pumps it and again gives it to the body and its design is so robust that a person who has an age of 100 years so his heart worked in the body non stop for 100 years it did not stop even for one second because if the heart stopped in the body he might have died so have you seen ever a pump which can work without maintenance for 100 years non stop 24 hours no maintenance no change of spare parts nothing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a pump in the body and it works in the body for 100 even more than 100 years non stop does not need any maintenance does not need change of spare parts anything else so the heart of the human being is also a sign of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you know how much small arteries are in the body these arteries of the body even go up to the cell level every cell of the body gets blood so small small arteries they spread in the in the body and they convey the blood to the cell if you take one artery and then make a knot with the other one then make a knot with the three, third one and we take all the arteries of the body then you know how much long these arteries will be the total length in the body of one human being will be 160000 kilometers 100 
सिक्सटी थाउजेंड किलोमीटर आर्टरी इन दी बॉडी दिस मच वायरिंग हैज बिन मेड इन वन बॉडी एंड इफ एस पर्सन ही रिड्यूसेस हिज वेट वन किलो सो द पर्सन हु रिड्यूसेस वेट वन किलो देन हिज पंप हैज टू सप्लाई सिक्सटीन किलोमीटर्स लेस आर्टरी इन दी बॉडी जस्ट वन किलो of weight reduction it goes up to 16 kilo meter of the arteries and they are reduced so how much load is on our heart which has to supply the blood in every cell of the body and the heart and the blood of the body it goes up to the heart and in 30 seconds it again comes back to the heart so the total time is which is taken by the blood to go in the body and come back is only 30 seconds एग्जाम्पल इफ यू take the small baby of the chicken and put it in the water it will drown but if you take the baby of another bird it will start swimming in the water why the chicken has to live on the earth so allah did not gave him the knowledge how to swim whereas the duck has to live in the in the water so his small baby knows how to swim in the water both are small babies one knows how to swim because has to live in the ocean in the river and the chicken has to stay on the earth so it does not know how to swim so allah subhanahu wa taala created everyone and gave him the knowledge how to live in this world is there anyone who tells the baby of the sparrow how to fly in the in the air no one tells anyone by birth he knows how to fly whereas the baby of the chicken cannot fly so allah subhanahu wa taala gave knowledge to everyone no one small person one small example there is a small bird duck in america in alaska and it migrates from alaska to new zealand once in a year 
एंड इट हैज टू कवर ए डिस्टेंस ऑफ ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड किलोमीटर ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड किलोमीटर एंड द वेट ऑफ दिस ट्रक इज लेस देन हाफ किलो एंड वेन इट स्टार्ट इट्स फ्लाइट इट के नॉट लैंड इन दिन 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 द मिडल ऑफ द in the middle of the journey why because there is all ocean so it cannot come down and it flies nine day and nine nights continuously without eating without sleeping without taking rest nine days and nine night continuously it flies who gave him the power and who gave him the directions because when the bird is flying so it can go in this direction and go in this direction so who is telling him the coordinates of the earth there is no gps system in the bird but it flies and covers the distance of 12000 km and after 9 days it lands in new zealand Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala is so great. He made the bird and he gave him the knowledge how to travel and how to go to his destination. And then from its destination it again comes to the same point where from he traveled. in the ocean there are some points where are which are very deep very deep in japan there is a ditch in the ocean and it is so deep it's so deep that if you take the himalayan mountain and put it in the ocean then it will drown in the ocean the himalayan mountain whole will drown in the ocean and from its top mount everest there will be 2 km water still on the top it's so deep and in this depth allah subhanahu wa taala is giving life to the creation the human beings they have gone to the depth of 11 km in the ocean more than that they could not go why lack of oxygen and then the pressure on the body of the person and now japan has made some machines with which he can go even more than 11 kilometers so they are trying to go to the end of the mariana ditch and they came to know that in 11 kilometer down in the ocean there is 100% darkness but whatever fishes there are so these fishes have led in themselves because there is no light at all but they have to move they have to take their food they have to live so allah subhanahu taala has made leds in the fishes so these fishes they when they are staying they have no light when they start moving the leds become on and they can see around them what is happening <coughs> subhanallah so these are the signs of allah subhanahu taala that this universe has not been created by itself it has been created by the creator allah subhanahu taala and he is the one who created this universe and he is our lord so allah subhanahu taala said sanurihim ayatina fil afaq wa fi anfusihim حتى يتبين لهم انه الحق ان قران ذريز ون ورس ذات ويل فرعون 
he was being drowned in the in the river of neel then he said o oh allah amantu bi rabbi musa wa harun i believe in the allah of musa alaihi salam and harun alaihi salam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said al an no it's too late so i don't accept your iman then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sab said al yawm nunji ka bi badani ka liman khalfak aya that today we will save your body so that it will be a sign for the coming people they should get lesson from this no firon drowned in the water and his dead body remained in the water for 3000 years without any chemical without any preservation preservative no all the dead bodies of the other people they were destroyed but the body of the firon was not destroyed 3000 years it remained in the water and then in 19 in 1898 some of the scientists they took this dead body from the water and brought it to egypt and put it in the museum and even today the body of the firon is still preserved in the museum we can go and see it whatever allah has us mentioned 1500 years ago that we will save your body and it will be a lesson for the people who are coming and same thing we can see with our practical eyes subhanallah subhanallah so the two scientists who discovered the body in 1898 they accepted islam they said that it is not possible that a body will remain intact in the water for 3000 years it is not possible but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that al yawm nunji ka bi badani ka we will save your body and we want to make you a lesson for the coming people the the words became true and even now it is people can go and see the body of the firon in the museum of egypt in cairo so the verse of quran which i meant which i read in the beginning sanurihim ayatina fil afaq wa fi anfusihim we will nearly show them our signs in the universe and in their inner self حتى يتبين لهم انه الحق until they will be able to know what is the truth alhamdulillah in these days we can see that the truth is what has been mentioned in quran and we feel that the quran is a holy book and it is the collection of the ultimate reality of the universe and we confirm that oh allah this universe was not created by itself through evolution you created the universe and it is an important and it is a very precise intelligent design everything has precision even no person in the world can say that in nature there is a mistake and we have to correct it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Quran that oh human being raise your eyes and look towards the stars and find is there any mistake in the design of the universe farjil wa sar hal tara min futur you look at the universe second time and you will not be able to find any mistake in my design so even in this age of precision there is no scientist who can say or oh, there is a fault in the natural design and we have to correct it no alhamdulillah everything which has been created 
has been created by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala so precisely that now we can say that oh Allah, we can see your signs in the universe and we can see your signs inside the body and we confirm that you are the creator of the universe and you are our Lord and we are happy to recite the kalima La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. चांद तारों में तू मरगजारों में तू ए खुदाया किसने तेरी हकीकत को पाया चांद तारों में तू मरगजारों में तू ए खुदाया किसने तेरी हकीकत को पाया बहरे इसिया से मौला बचा ले दिल की कश्ती है तेरे हवाले तू ही सत्तार है तू ही गफार है ए खुदाया किसने तेरी हकीकत को पाया so we come to a point where we only say Rabbana ma khalaq da haza batila Subhanaka fakina azab al-nar Wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alam Before dua, we will recite the kalimat of Tawbah. So please, make intention in your heart that we are making true Tawbah from the sins of our previous life and in future we want to have a very clear and pious life. Recite these sentences please. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد الرسول الله آمنت بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله واليوم الآخر والقدر خيره وشره من الله تعالى والبعث بعد الموت آمنت بالله كما هو بأسمائه وصفاته وقبلت جميع أحكامه إقرار باللسان وتصديق بالقلب أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أستغفر الله ربي من كل ذنب وأتوب إليه برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين بس ان کلمات کو پڑھنے سے ہم تو عطائب ہو چکے ہیں چند معاملات ہیں جن کو بقیدی سے کریں گے اللہ تعالیٰ دل کو منور کریں گے there are few عمال if we do them regularly then Allah سبحانہ وتعالیٰ will enlighten our heart and put نور in it in our heart the first one is that we should recite استغفار hundred times in the morning hundred times in the evening استغفر اللہ ربی من کل ذنب و اتوب علی then hundred times Salat al-Nabi Dhruh Sharif in the morning and the evening Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammadin wa barik wa sallim Then number three is the recitation of Quran Every day we should try to recite at least one juz of Quran If it is difficult to we can recite half a juz If it is difficult we can recite one fourth of the juz 
if it is difficult, we can recite one page of Quran every day. But try to recite the Quran every day. Then number four, that we should be leading our life in such a way that our heart should be busy in, our hand should be busy in the work and our heart should be busy in remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number five is muraqba. Muraqba is very easy. That we should sit down, close our eyes, be attentive towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we should feel that some noor is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the hearts of our mashayikh and is going in my heart and my heart is saying Allah, 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 Allah and I am listening it. So we don't have to say Allah, Allah with our tongue. We have just to feel it that heart is saying and we are listening it. And in this muraqaba we will get noor in our heart. It's very easy to understand. For example, these days we have cell phones. So throughout the day when we use the cell phone, then in the night the battery is discharged, is depleted. So in the night what we do, we put it with the charger. And this charger recharges the battery. And next day we can again use the phone. And if someday we forget to recharge it, then next day the cell phone does not work. Because battery goes to zero and there is no communication after that. Similarly, when we work in the offices, in the industry, in the markets, we interact with the people. So the battery of the Iman, it goes down. We need to recharge it every day. Now this muraqaba is the way of recharging the battery of Iman. We sit down, we feel that Allah SWT is sending His nur in our heart and our heart is saying Allah, Allah, Allah. So the battery of the feelings of the heart, it recharges again. And next day again we are able to spend our time in a good way. So we should try to make these five actions every day. Istighfar, Durushri, tilawat e quran bukuf e kalbi and muraqba and inshallah with these amal you will feel that the love of Allah SWT will increase in your heart and you will feel yourself that it is very easy for you to make good deeds and refrain from the sins before dua we can ex make exercise of the muraqba for a few minutes so please close your eyes, be attentive towards Allah SWT and feel that noor is coming in our hearts and our hearts are saying Allah, Allah, Allah.
محمد الرسول اللہ دعا کر لیجیے سبحان ربی اللہ اللہ صلی اللہ سیدنا محمد وعلیٰ سیدنا محمد وبارک وسلم اے رب کریم ہم آپ کے آج مسکین بندے ہیں ہمارے گناہوں کو معاف فرما خطاؤں سے درگزر فرما عیبوں کی پردہ پوشی فرما اللہ ہماری نگاہوں کو پاک فرما ہمارے دلوں کو صاف فرما ہمارے سینوں کو اپنی محبت سے لبریز فرما اپنے عشق کی آتش ہمارے سینوں میں پیدا فرما ہماری جسمانی بیماریوں کو دور فرما روحانی بیماریوں کو دور فرما اے اللہ آنے والے وقت کو گزرے وقت سے بہتر فرما آنے والی زندگی کو گزری زندگی کا کفارہ بنا اللہ جتنے حاضرین مجلس ہیں سب کے دلوں کی نیک مرادیں پوری فرما اے اللہ دور بیٹھی مسورات بھی دعاؤں پر آمین کہہ رہی ہیں اللہ ان کی بھی نیک دعاؤں کو قبول فرما اے اللہ جو نوجوان بچے ہیں اللہ ان کو نیک دیندار قدر دان زندگی کا ساتھی نصیب فرما جو شادی شدہ لوگ ہیں اے اللہ ان کو گھروں کی خوشیاں نصیب فرما اولادوں کی خوشیاں نصیب فرما اے اللہ اولاد کے غموں سے محفوظ فرما اولاد کی پریشانیوں سے محفوظ فرما اے اللہ جو بچے حافظ قرآن بن چکے ہیں یا بن رہے ہیں اللہ ان کے سینوں کو علم کے نور سے منور فرما اے اللہ ان کو اپنے مقبول بندوں میں شامل فرما اے اللہ ہمارے بھائی فیروز جیکل کے کام کاروبار میں برکتیں عطا فرما اے اللہ ان کے رزق میں برکتیں عطا فرما ان کی عزت میں برکتیں عطا فرما اے اللہ ان کی زندگی میں برکتیں عطا فرما اے اللہ ان کو سکون کی زندگی نصیب فرما اے اللہ ان کی ہر پریشانی کو دور فرما ہر مصیبت سے محفوظ فرما اٹکے کاموں کا ہونا آسان فرما اور الجھے کاموں کو اپنی رحمت سے سلجا اے اللہ ان کے والد کی مغفرت فرما اے اللہ بھائی بہنوں کے آپس کے درمیان الفتیں محبتیں اور زیادہ بڑھا اے اللہ ان کو اپنے گھروں میں بیوی بچوں کی خوشیاں نصیب فرما اے اللہ ہماری ان دعاؤں کو اپنی رحمت سے قبول فرما اے اللہ جس طرح وہ دین کے کام میں لوگوں کے معاون بنتے ہیں اللہ ان کے کاموں میں تو ان کا معاون بن جا ہماری ان دعاؤں کو اپنی رحمت سے قبول فرما پروردگار عالم آج کی اس محفل کا جنہوں نے انتقاد کیا اللہ اپنی رحمت سے ان کو اس کے بدلے اپنی رضا نصیب فرما اپنے مقبول بندوں میں شامل فرما اللہ آپ نے قرآن مجید میں فرمایا وہ ام سائل فلاۃ ہر سوالی کو انکار نہ کرو جب ہم کمزوروں کو حکم ہے ہم سوالی کو انکار نہ کریں اے اللہ ہم بھی تو آپ کے در کے سوالی ہیں آپ بھی انکار نہ فرمائیے ہماری دعائیں قبول کر لیجئے اللہ آپ نے اللہ حکم دیا ہے اچھے بروں کے ساتھ اچھائی کا معاملہ کریں اے اللہ آپ اچھے ہیں ہم برے ہیں آپ ہمارے ساتھ اچھائی کا معاملہ کر لیجئے ہماری توبہ کو قبول کر لیجئے اللہ رحمت کا معاملہ فرما اے اللہ ہمیں نیکی کی توفیق عطا فرما اے اللہ آپ کے سوا ہمارا کوئی حاجت روا نہیں آپ کے سوا کوئی ہمارا مشکل کشا نہیں اے اللہ آپ کے سوا کوئی ہماری پراگاہ نہیں میرے مولا رحمت کا معاملہ کر دیجئے بچہ پریشان ہوتا ہے ماں باپ کی طرف دوڑتا ہے اور بندہ پریشان ہوتا ہے تو پروردگار کی طرف لوٹتا ہے اے بے کسوں کے دستگیر اے ٹوٹے دلوں کو تسلی دینے والے اے خالی جھولیوں کو بھر دینے والے میرے مولا ہمارے حال پر بھی رحمت کی نظر فرما اور ہمیں اپنے مقبول بندوں اور بندیوں میں شامل فرما کریم آقا ہمیں مانگنا نہیں آتا تو اپنی رحمت کے ساتھ ہمیں بن مانگے عطا فرما ربنا تقبل منا ان نکان تسمی العلیم تو ولینا ان نکان تواب الرحیم اللہ پوری دنیا میں جہاں مسلمان پریشان ہیں سب کی پریشانیوں کو دور فرما اے اللہ ہمارے جو حضرات علماء صلاح دین کا کام کر رہے ہیں ان کی زندگیوں میں برکتیں عطا فرما اے اللہ ہمیں ہر سال اپنے گھر کا دیدار عطا فرما اپنے محبوب صلم کے در کی قبولیت والی حاضری نصیب فرما رب کریم حج کے ایام قریب آنے والے ہیں آپ کے نیک بندے احرام باندھ کر نکلیں گے اپنے گھروں سے لبئی کا لاؤما لبئی پڑھتے ہوئے جائیں گے اے اللہ کوئی بیت اللہ کا طواف کرے گا کوئی مقام ابراہیم پہ نفلیں پڑھے گا کوئی ملتظم سے لپٹ کے دعائیں مانگے گا کوئی حجر اسود کو بھوسے دے گا 
اللہ ہمیں بھی ان خوش نصیبوں میں شامل فرما دیجئے اور ہماری ان دعاؤں کو اپنی رحمت سے قبول فرما اے اللہ اس ملک کو اپنی جو ہے وہ خاص رحمتیں عطا فرما اے اللہ جو ملک کے حکمران ہیں ان کو وقت مناسب اچھے فیصلے کرنے کی توفیق عطا فرما اپنی مدد اور نصرت ان کے شامل حال فرما اے اللہ اس ملک کی اکانومی کو اور مضبوط فرما یہاں کے جو لوگ ہیں اللہ ان کی پریشانیوں کو دور فرما اے اللہ حکمران جو نیک کام کرنے کا ارادہ رکھتے ہیں اللہ اس میں ان کو کامیابیاں نصیب فرما پروردگار عالم مہربانی کا معاملہ فرما ہماری ان دعاؤں کو اپنی رحمت سے قبول فرما ربنا تقبل منا ان نہ کا انت سمیع العلیم تو ولینا ان نہ کا انت طواب الرحیم صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ حبیبی سیدنا محمد و علیہ و اصحاب ہی اجمعین برحمت کا یا ارحم الراحمین